this is an urgent message so it's not going to be for everyone and i hope this reaches the right audience all right first things first you got to re- you really got to be careful around this time of who is trying to drop subtle hints of interest in you because it might just be a part of your enemy's plans to set you up with a person that doesn't actually like you but a but rather a person they are manipulating into acting a certain way around you you hear me you hear me they have been plotting to humiliate you and a way to avoid that humiliation is to distance yourself as much as possible from the person who is involved in this plan who is involved in this wicked plan these people their day is about to come or maybe their day has already come and they are just not noticing it you just don't know about it because you're not supposed to know anything about it so that god can prevent you from rejoicing in these people's downfalls especially you knowing how much they have impacted you whether the person involved in this plot you know this is their attack dog this is their attack dog they are using a particular person a person in particular to act a certain way around you so as to fool you into thinking that this person admires you when they really don't and i know this is a harsh message because you might have picked up on false energies from this pers- from this person the thing is it was not really them who was feeling that way it was a spirit they sent your way in the hopes of manipulating you like i said and i know i already said this before but i'm going to say it again you got to be really careful around this time of who drops subtle hints of interest in you whether they overtly express it or not the ones with subtler hints are more dangerous are more dangerous because they want you they want to mislead you to what seems like an open door of opportunity but is actually closed almost like they are giving you the keys to something that will never that shall never be opened listen y'all listen 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 this can very well be a karmic admirer situation where It is uncertain for sure as to whether or not the person admires you. But a way to also mentally distance yourself from the person is by not projecting our biased thinking towards the signs they are giving or the signs they are providing us with yeah yeah we really got to be careful we really got to be careful your enemies they are wishing for you to never get a soulmate to never meet the love of your life to never have love in your life in general as time goes on they are getting worse and worse and worse and worse more vicious than 
they've ever been. More, even more vicious than they thought they could be. There are no limitations as to what they are capable of doing at this very moment. Therefore, we are being called to amp up our spiritual or divine protection through prayer, through saging, through listening to divine protection frequencies, through listening to subliminals, making our own subliminals, and wearing crystals. The spiritual warfare, I'm telling you, is on the high right now. Some of you might be feeling a choking sensation in your throat even when there really isn't anything. It's either a byproduct of your trauma or a byproduct of the spiritual attacks which have been aimed at you. These people's days are coming. These people's days are coming and you are going to witness it unfold right in your face. Right in your fucking face, bro. I know this is a pretty harsh message but I'm going to speak my truth anyway because I know this will be another person's guide. What may work for one may not always work for another. So if my content simply does not resonate with where you are currently at in your journey, then leave me the fuck alone and go somewhere else. Watch someone else. Listen, y'all. These people... They are going to suffer generations of poverty for the way they try to get back at you for certain actions they don't even have a proof of. Do you even know how illogical is that? Do you even know how illogical is that? How irrational, how stupid. They, was, they wasted all their time trying to get back at you. Meanwhile, you're just out there minding your own business. You barely, you probably barely even talk to any of these people. You probably have never even talked to some of them. Yet here they are trying to fight a version of you that is clearly a ghost. Just because they are too caught up in their own world so much so they can't even look at themselves as the problem. As the potential problem. I have personally received my own dose of karmic consequences in the past. And let me tell y'all, it wouldn't feel good. It wouldn't feel good and even though mine was only a minor dose... My regrets of doing something to another person, hurting another person, was eating away at me. The weight of one's karmic consequences is contingent on the weight of one's misdeeds. These people, they messed with you so much for so long. They have blocks of karmic consequences, bricks of karmic consequences piling up, waiting for the perfect time, waiting for the perfect moment just to fall right into their heads. Chosen ones, I know this season... I, I feel it strongly in my spirit. It's not going to be an easy one. They're going to get even harder with their attacks. You might have posted something that triggered, that evoked more feelings of jealousy within these people. And they did not like it. They did not like it. They were so triggered 
even if you were just a novice at something and these people were professional or I don't know they're so mad they're so mad that you are almost surpassing them at everything which is why they try to outnumber you they try to outnumber you to feel strong because you yourself even when you are standing alone you are strong enough to dodge their bullets before it even kills you the thing is they try to aim these bullets at you at you to kill you spiritually mentally and emotionally some of them even physically they want to physically hurt you they want to physically abuse or assault you trigger warning for some all right trigger warning for some these people's anger are getting so much out of hand to a point where you may have to walk on eggshells around these people i'm getting a sense that some of y'all some of y'all may may and may have to end up moving at a completely different environment or or the truth soon enough will be exposed about these people it is a way for justice to favor you especially as a result of what they put you through for a long time now their time is due their time is overdue god has been sending them warning signs and they still chose not to heed into it you know what people god's wrath the universe's wrath is not a joke it is not a joke i have heard some people in my life when i was younger and now that i'm older and i look back at those experiences regretfully the regret does not feel good the experiences that resemble the experiences i put some people through it never felt easy it never felt good but that was just a minor dose of karmic consequences therefore i still thank god i did not end up experiencing anything worse y'all these people's judgment days are about to come they're about to be sent right sent back to right where they belong and that is the fiery pits of the hell metaphorically all right if you believe in the existence of a heaven or hell these people are going to get are going to be sent to hell by messing with you for years for months without stopping see you might have tried to warn these people before you might have stood up to them you might have stood up against them and they chose to mock you for expressing the power of your voice they were too insecure to handle your capability to stand on your two own feet during those times they cannot during those times they couldn't i am getting a little bit more cutthroat on this one because i definitely feel god's wrath coming through at this very moment it's not a joke it's not a joke y'all like i said the weight of one's karmic consequences is completely contingent on the weight of one's misdeeds these people they were acting from a place of pridefulness and wickedness
They be smiling on your face whole time they wanted to take your place. They be smiling in your face whole time they wanted to take your place. They be smiling in your face whole time they wanted to take your place. You are shining more brightly than ever before these peoples and these peoples are get these peoples demons are getting more triggered than ever before that's all i need to say to i needed to say feel free to comment down below your thoughts on this video and if it ever resonated with you and if you're a loyal subscriber um, I would like you to comment what you like most about my channel. So yeah, peace, blessings, have a good one.